evening, Simon here, Explosive Action, back with an explosive metal update. Like I said on my film update uh, from a couple of days ago, this one coming up was going to be all music, and that's what we're at now. So, got a handful of cassettes and records, so let's get into it. So we'll start with the tapes, and the first one I got here is the new EP from Undergang. This is really killer. Um, Undergang being a band from Denmark on Extremely Rotten Productions, and... Um, this is a band that's definitely getting better and better as they release stuff. Um, their last release before this was a live album. And I think the tracks on that sound better than any of the recordings that they've done previously. It's a really good live recording. And then um, this EP is three tracks, new material, and one live track. Also sounds fantastic. So these guys are just getting better and better. Um, really strong, darky, dark death metal kind of stuff. Um, with uh, really low vocals, it's really good stuff. Um, I'm not really sure who to compare them to. They they pretty much sound like Undergang, which is a good thing. So um, yeah, if you haven't checked them out, I actually recommend starting with this EP. It's really good representation of what they're about. That's Undergang, Mephitic Corpse. What a great looking demo cover. That's proper proper demo material right there. Uh, U.S. Death Grind Band. Um, this is their demo. Not sure how many tracks, only three tracks I think on this one. Pro tape. Intense thickening vomit. Um, with a great track, Unpleasant Throbbing Sensation. What a fantastic title there. And what a great squeak. That's, that's why you get physical media people, squeaks like that. Um, yeah, this is good fun. This is like something dug out of the 90s, but it's only about six months old. Um, Sounds a bit like uh, like an autopsy demo mixed with like uh, Hemdale, something like that. Mephitic Corpse. If that sounds interesting to you, check it out. Uh, the latest uh, demo or EP from uh, Fervent from Finland. These guys are really good. This is Ever Dark. Uh, the last EP was really good. Um, this is just two tracks. They're about seven minutes long each. Um, and it sounds like finished death to him. It's slow and long. It's got a bit of a uh, disembowelment uh, sound to it, which is not a bad thing. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you like if you like death to him, particularly the Finnish style, then I check out Fervent. Not much more to say. They're just really good. These guys, these guys are great. I found this on Bandcamp. Um, band called Defacement. Um, Limited to 50 copies, I think, this tape. There's probably other formats, but you might be out of luck with this tape. Maybe there's one or two. Go check it out. But anyway, um, these guys have got a big, lush sound. It's like it's a death black metal band, um, but I guess the their sound is somewhere between... Oh, geez, I don't know, actually. It's quite a... It's quite an interesting mix maybe suffering hour and i don't know a more black metal version of suffering hour there you go i'm going to stick with that and that's defacement um this is actually a full length and um might have some info on here maybe not um nice shell and uh yeah there we go so we got um seven tracks which this is not focusing very well but there you go seven tracks on this uh album and uh yeah really really good stuff um definitely worth checking out defacement the uh ep is called or the album is called deviant so um yes yeah, if you can get a copy of that on a format and this is pretty much the opposite this is uh grave uh, sorry, Cemetery Lust. I was going to say Graveyard Lust, but yeah, whatever. Cemetery Lust with their uh, album, Orgies of Abomination. These guys do not take themselves seriously at all. Um, I think I kind of got lucky with this from uh, Caligari Records. Um, Caligari is one of those labels that go check out the last page of their shop because that's where they chuck things. They've got like one or two copies left. And they happen to have one of these of um, this pretty out of print Cemetery Lust LP from I think it's like 2012 could be mistaken there but it's not new 
not new at all. Um, they've got an album after this that um, I think is actually better. Um, I think it's better, but this is fun. It's just Black Thrash that doesn't take itself seriously at all. Um, track like, what do we got here? Cyborg Sex Machine. Come on the Cross. Yeah, there you go. You know what you're getting with this. Cemetery Lust. Recommended, but I do prefer their album after that. Uh, this is a new band uh, from Leeds in the UK called Slime Lord. And it's definitely one of those ones that sounds like the cover and the name. Slime Lord. It's mid-paced, bolt thrower kind of death metal, but it's thicker with a doomier vibe to it. That's not a bad way of putting it. Nice bright green um, shell on the tape. And uh, yeah, I was listening to this just before for the second time through. It's really good. Um, five tracks repeated on both sides. Um, yeah, definitely check this one out. I'm sure you can still get copies. Um, and uh, I think I think we're going to see some good stuff from Slime Lord. Um, this is the Delta Death Sirens. Really good stuff. Um, yeah, check out Slime Lord. Another one that's really good. That's a new band, Total Isolation. Um, this is sort of fun, groovy death metal, I guess. Like I had a lot of fun just listening to this one. Chops and changes around a bit and has a good bounce to it, um, but without being like death and roll crap. It's good fun. Um, yeah, not sure where these guys are from. I think they're US. Could be wrong on that. But um, yeah, not much to say about it. Just total isolation, really cool cover. The Winfield demo. Interesting title. I'm not sure what they mean by Winfield. I think of a pack of smokes when I think of Winfield, so who knows. Total Isolation, Winfield demo, recommended. But the uh, highlight of the tapes for this update is this beast from Cathonica, band from Venezuela, and um, another awesome uh, Caligari Records slipcover. Cassettes with slipcovers, who thought we'd ever see this? Uh, the album's called Typhomantia sacred triarchy of spiritual putrefaction there you go um, really nice cosmetics on that and um, this is the full this is a full length as a cd and an lp as well if you want to go that route nice shell and there is a lot of really cool um, artwork in here a lot of information and um, diagrams and things but the music itself is just pure evil. This really sounds sinister. Um, something like Titan Blood and Portal. Put those two bands um, with like between track spookiness, like ambient stuff. It's really, really uh, sinister stuff. Uh, Katonica. Um, not sure if they've done other things or if this is their first release. But um, yeah, I'm definitely going to be looking out more for this band. And I might even try and find the LP because this is pretty awesome stuff. Cathonica. And I think I'll put that on upside down. Now onto the LPs and the first one. Absolute cracking album. This is Cryptic Brood, Outcome of Obnoxious Silence. Uh, this made my list for 2019. Absolutely fantastic album, this, and I love the artwork on it. Band is from Germany, um, and they play a variety of uh, autopsy style death metal with um, cross with doom, but not like uh, spooky doom, more like I don't want to say stoner doom, I don't want to say that at all, but I mean it's quite organic sounding and sludgy. I guess that's probably the best way of putting it, sludgy. It's sludgy death metal. Um, it's chock full of riffs. Absolutely fucking riff salad, this thing. Uh, very, very memorable stuff. Cryptic Brood, Outcome of, of Obnoxious Science. Oh, it's a fantastic cover. Um, as I was saying, um, Rotted Life and who's this lot? Terror something. Terror from Hell Records. I'm not familiar with them, but Rotted Life I'm very familiar with. Um, yeah, a bunch of good tracks, um, proper full length in length. And, um, yeah, they've got a previous album. I haven't heard it, um, from 2017. This is their 2019 album. 
and I hope they do more things like this. Really fantastic. Cryptic Brood. Also fantastic. On Vendetta Records, the new Sun Worship. Damn. If that's the death metal riff salad, this is the black metal riff salad. It's just riff, riff, riff. Really catchy stuff, but um, being black metal, it's also quite dark. And um, it's a uh, really all-encompassing sound, like suffocating, which I really like about this. Um, not sure where these guys are from. Um, but yeah, Vendetta Records is definitely one of those labels that... Um, have been putting out quality black metal and you can nearly trust everything that they put out you probably can trust everything they put out um, I can't think of anything that I've got from them that has failed the test but this one from Sun Worship um, I've got their previous album which is really good but this just kicks it out of the park absolutely fantastic um, album is called uh, Emanations of Desolation and uh, highly recommend it Check it out, Sun Worship. Awesome cover on that as well. Uh, the next three uh, are all the band Ostots, O-S-T-O-T-S. Not sure where these guys are from. Somewhere European, I'm sure. Um, but I'm not even going to try and say the names of these, uh, except for this one, which is just self-titled. So this is um, a compilation of their demos, but re-recorded this year. And I think it's the pick of the bunch, actually. These these songs are fantastic. It's just straight ahead black metal. It's not very atmospheric. It's not raw. It's just black metal straight ahead. Uh, some keys sometimes, but not always. Just good quality black metal. Um, it's about all I can say about it. Just really good. Um, so that's the self-titled one. And then there's two more. Like I said, I'm not going to try and say the names. But if you look them up on Discogs, um, the latest three things they put out are uh, what I'm holding here. Can't even read it with the glare anyway, but I will get it wrong. But um, it's all very similar stuff, so um, yeah, just look for these covers. And this one as well. Just solid black metal. Really good. But uh, the edge is given to the uh, self-titled re-recording of the demo tracks. Check them out. Definitely recommend them. Finally, my God, Impure, Satan's Eclipse. Uh, US band, I think. And I ordered this in May. and It arrived last week. Uh, anyway, and that was not a pre-order as far as I remember. It just took that long. But I won't go into that too much. Um, really good... Um, Black Death album, not quite war metal, but it's got that um, it's got that vibe to it. I guess uh, Grave Miasma is not a bad comparison. Um, yeah, Impure Satan's Eclipse. It's really good fun. Um, not sure if I'm unlucky, but this LP that I've got here has a bit of surface noise uh, even after it clean, which is a bit of a shame. It's a bit crackly and poppy. Might put it under the sink and wash it that way. But anyway, side death, side darkness, Satan's Eclipse. Good fun stuff. And uh, the other thing I got from that label, which took six months, Cenotaph. The glory reflection, gloomy reflection of our hidden sorrows. Reissue of the, what is it, like 94, 92, 1992 album. Um, which is really, really awesome. The uh, original CD is unobtainable, very hard to get. Even the reissues cost a lot. I had the reissue, one of the reissues, and uh, the cover was redone and looked terrible. That annoyed me. And then this LP was announced, and it's a... Uh, I don't want to get it out, but I got the bright orange LP, which looks just like that cardboard there. And, um, yeah, if you like early 90s European-style death metal... But from Mexico, then you should check out Cenotaph. Top quality stuff. There's some HR Geiger artwork there behind their logo. Um, yep, thick and gloomy is a good way of putting this. Really heavy stuff. Cenotaph, highly recommended. And uh, this one, I found this in a record store. It was used and it was cheap. 
I have absolutely no idea how to say that. That's the band's name. They are Russian, but I'm just going to call them Russian Vodka because that's the name of this album. So this is a uh, 80s band. This is a compilation from 92, I think, um, that puts two of their demos or two or three of the demos all into one LP. So the song quality varies between tracks because it's not one album. Um, and the songs themselves change radically. So this first track, which I obviously can't say because it's in Cyrillic, is the best track on the uh, on the two sides. It's like quite thrashy, um, straight ahead stuff. It reminded me of the Brazilian band Atomica, which is really good. But then the second song, which is named after the album, Russian Vodka, is more like a drinking song. It's really quite funny. Um, Overall, it's all pretty interesting. I wouldn't say it's mandatory stuff, but it didn't cost me much. And, yeah, original Russian pressing of a Russian album. I'll take that. Um, I would do yourself a favor and go jump on YouTube and search for the uh, Russian vodka live recording. Uh, I think there's only one. It looks a bit like this stage show here. And get to about two and a half minutes in where the ladies come on stage. And you're going to wonder how YouTube let that one through. Russian vodka. Fun. And the last thing for this update. I always leave the classics to the end. Pestilence. Malus Maleficarum. Cracking. Cracking Pestilence album. Not my favorite, but it is their first and it is excellent. This is uh, on Roadrunner, but back when they were RC records. Um, pretty much... This is the first press for, um, I think this is the Danish press, or is this the US? No, this is the US one. US first press. So at this point in their career, they were more thrash than death metal, but they were definitely in the between. It's, it's death thrash, we'll go with that, um, but a heavy thrash to them. So um, yeah, I'm really stoked to get this. I didn't actually have the first album on CD, so I didn't have this at all. It was very lucky to find it. Um, first album of Pestilence on really nearly mint condition. Um, I didn't even give it a clean. Popped it on and it played like it was brand new. And uh, very happy about that. So, yeah, everybody knows Pestilence. And uh, I think they're touring at the moment. It would be great if they came here. But that probably won't happen. Anyway, that's this update. Hope you all enjoyed. See you next time.